Edward Hopper witnessed dramatic changes in the American way of life during his 84 years. He lived through two world wars, the Great Depression, and the period of economic prosperity that followed. New technology transformed daily life. Henry Ford's Model T automobile, introduced in 1908, made travel easier than ever. And by the time Hopper died in 1967, most Americans got their news on the television instead of the radio. In his paintings, Hopper creates a visual record of daily life in the changing country. There's something strangely familiar in his work as if you, the viewer, had been there to witness each scene. But when you look closer, there's also something unsettling about his paintings. Hopper partly achieves this nostalgic yet tense quality through his representation of light, whether exploring the isolation of life in a city or the quiet countryside. Hopper uses light to reflect his vision of American life. Born in a small town outside New York City in 1882, Hopper began drawing when he was five years old. Edward's parents recognized his talent and encouraged him to go to art school. As a young man, Hopper worked as a commercial illustrator in New York City. He also went to Europe to study art and to New England where he worked in an artist colony. During the same period, he met a young artist named Josephine Nivison. The two fell in love and married in 1924. Jo soon became Hopper's only female model and a champion of his career. Hopper felt that art should be seen through a personality, and the mood in the artist's work reflects his quiet, introverted disposition. In his 1925 painting, House by the Railroad, Hopper paints the exterior of an old house. There's a harsh contrast between the bright, natural light on the left side of the building and the deep shadows on the front. Without human figures or trees to populate the scene, Hopper creates the sense that the eerily still country house is abandoned. In his 1942 painting, Night Hawks, Hopper reminds viewers that even in a crowded city where you're never totally alone, you might feel lonely. Artificial light in the diner's interior creates an inviting glow. It contrasts with the dark, deserted street. The figures don't interact with one another. Unconsciously, Hopper said, probably I was painting the loneliness of a large city. The artist began Nighthawks in the days after Japan's attack on Pearl Harbor. The battle led to America's entry into World War II. As the rest of the country talked about safety, Hopper found it easier to express himself in paint. Hopper loved to go to the movies. They provided a welcome escape from the realities of life during the difficult 1930s, from the Great Depression to the threat of World War II. The artist addresses this idea of escape in his 1939 painting, New York Movie. Hopper divides the space with light, showing that, despite the film, the usher is preoccupied. On the right, a wall sconce, a lamp, with red lampshades creates a warm glow. On the left, cool light from the black and white film contrasts with the otherwise warm color scheme. The cool light seems to represent the escape found in the film, while the warm light symbolizes the usher's quiet inner thoughts. Hopper uses light to create a mood in each of the scenes. In doing so, he begins to develop a story that he intends the viewer to complete. Who are these people? What are they thinking about? And why are they alone? Solitary figures appear in many of Hopper's works. Even when in shown in groups, they seem isolated from one another. In People in the Sun, five figures sit close together but do not interact. This strange composition invites viewers to wonder, what are the people looking at beyond the edge of the picture plane? In the years after World War II, Hopper's health began to decline and he suffered from depression. A series of operations made it challenging for him to paint. As the people around him looked to the future, Hopper focused on a version of America that was rapidly disappearing. He completed his last painting in 1965, two years before he died. Hopper's works continue to inspire countless artists. Many have reimagined his most famous painting, Nighthawks and film director Alfred Hitchcock even based the creepy house in his 1960 thriller Psycho on Hopper's haunting house by the railroad. Today, Hopper is considered one of the most important artists in American history.